going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be on how to install a HODL tip. Here are some of the items I use to install the jump tip. I got 500 grit sandpaper. This is 1,200 1, grit sandpaper and this is 120. I use the 120 to sand the back side of the tip to make sure it's flat. I got a brand new razor blade. Then I have CA. This is the thick kind. This is super glue. The accelerator. Leather to just burnish the tip and the ferrule itself. This is a wet paper towel. I got alcohol, optional, uh, but I like using it. This is Q-Wax to shine up the tip and the ferrule itself. Lastly, this is the paper towels itself. I already prepped the, um, the shaft on the lay itself. So let's go ahead and install this Hodo jump tip. For the jump tip, it's pretty much the same uh, installation procedures such as for the brick tip itself. So like I said, I'm gonna get the 120. I'm gonna send the back side of the jump tip to verify the flat surface. Once that's done, then you get your paper towel and your alcohol. Get rid of the grits of the tip itself. and verify that the tip is flat. Tip is flat, and again, if you don't have the bed of the lay, you can also use a razor blade and see if any light goes through it. So that's done. Get another paper towel, and what I like to do is to make sure the ferrule is clean and it's ready for gluing the tip. I also like to put another paper towel on the bed of the lay itself, just in case I accidentally spill some CA. I'm going the paper towel not on my bed of the lay. So all you need is a little bit of a CA or super glue. This is a thick one and you don't need much. Twirl around, make sure you get good contact on the ferrule itself and you got, and it's all over the tip itself. Try to center it, and I just use my tailstock to hold the tip in place and get the accelerator. And wipe down the excess. Tip secured on. Now to cut the tip itself. I like cutting it close to the ferrule, and once I get it close to the ferrule, I'm gonna use a razor blade to get it flush to the ferrule.
Once it's close to the ferrule, you want to go ahead and shorten up the tip. Now I'm going to extend the shaft a little bit upward so I can get access to the tip and use the razor blade. With a brand new blade. the wet paper towel. Once I get it flush, you get the 500. Now to shape it. Use the same 120. Five hundred again. And then the one thousand. 200 QX And the letter to partnership. Shape.
I'm gonna go ahead and remove the shaft out of the lay and check out how it looks. Here's the install tip. This is the jump tip. You can see it's made it with the G10 ferrule. And you can see how flush I did it. And it's real easy to cut this, this tip. You can use a razor blade and get it nice and flush. Hopefully this video was informative. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget the thumbs up. Bye bye. Working is done, right? Yep, and they're working. I'll do a cut here, and then we'll do here, uh -huh. and then just go here.